Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm very glad you're here. Thanks for joining me today as we talk about something very exciting indeed. So there seems to be a brand new, much anticipated and very exciting visa option here in the Kingdom of Thailand, brand new in 2024. This video is going to be all about the destination Thailand visa. Now the destination Thailand visa or the DTV as it's been abbreviated to, or as it's often being referred to online or in expat communities here in Thailand as the digital nomad visa. And this is potentially the much anticipated uh, potential option for digital nomads um, to stay in Thailand whilst working remotely. This is exactly who this visa is being designed for. Now, the destination Thailand visa is for those who potentially work remotely or have a freelance job that is based online, so they're location independent, and perhaps they would like to spend a large amount of their time here in the Kingdom of Thailand where they can perform their work. Before there wasn't really a legitimate visa or a legitimate route to do just that, now it does appear that there is. And the Destination Thailand Visa or the DTV is not just for those digital nomad types. It's also apparently for those wishing to study or practice uh, culturally Thai practices. Perhaps things like Muay Thai kickboxing, Thai language, and many, many other things like perhaps Thai cooking or perhaps Thai massage. So I think you can understand why this has made such big waves online. This is very exciting indeed, especially when you hear some of the details of this visa. First of all, let's go over the basics of what this visa option offers you. So first of all, this is a five year multiple entry visa. This visa permits a length of stay of 180 days per entry. It is extendable once per year and it comes with the option to include family members or dependents. So just to go over those bullet points, this visa is valid for five years in length. Okay, now you can't stay in Thailand for those full five years. You're permitted to stay 180 days per entry. So when you enter Thailand, you're permitted to stay. You'll be given a stamp for 180 days. Now what you can do after those 180 days or just before those 180 days expire uh, is you can leave Thailand, come back and be granted a further 180 days in the Kingdom of Thailand and you could keep doing that as long as the visa um, within that visa length of five years but also you do have the option I believe to extend each 180 day stamp in by a further 180 days so 180 plus 180 equals 360 so I believe you can enter Thailand you'd get stamped in for or be permitted to stay 180 days Go to a local immigration office, extend that for a further 180 days, giving you 360 days in Thailand. Now, after that, you would need to leave the kingdom and return again, get those 180 days. And I believe you can uh, repeat that process for the length of the visa, which is five years. And the option to include dependents or family members is also really welcome. That means if you're a digital nomad and perhaps you have children or a wife or a spouse and you want to bring them along, then they can apply to be dependents on your uh, destination Thailand visa. So again, this is really cool. There's lots of really nice things about this visa. So that is potentially what is on offer to you from the DTV or the destination Thailand visa. Now all of those benefits do not come without requirements. So let's look at what is required from you to be successful in being granted the DTV visa. All right, so let's talk about some of those requirements. So you're going to first of all need a valid passport. There is a minimum age of applicant that has been set at 20 years old. The visa fee is set at 10,000 Thai baht. You also do need proof of funds. So this is not a fee. This is just proof that you have funds in a bank account. Uh, and that has been set at 500,000 Thai baht in a bank account is required to show you have the ability to afford um, your stay. You are also asked to provide proof of purpose for visit. So for digital nomads, this would likely be proof of remote employment or professional portfolio of a freelance worker. And for those wanting to study or practice Thai cultural activities, then you would likely need confirmation onto a Muay Thai course or Thai cooking course, for example. So yeah, um, there are a few requirements. So obviously the first couple, pretty straightforward. So you're gonna need a valid passport. Uh, obviously, if you want to get a visa, you also need to be 20 years old uh, to apply for the visa, like we said. So there is a fee uh, that you have to pay um, to get this visa as well. So that is 10,000 Thai baht, the fee for the act visa itself. So that is something that you will have to pay. The proof of funds is something different. Um, okay, so that is just 
proof that you do have money in a bank account. So this doesn't need to be in Thai baht, I don't believe, um, but it would have to be um, in an equivalent to the amount of 500 Thai baht. However, if you're applying in uh, London or somewhere in America, then that fee may vary a little bit because it's probably gonna be rounded to the nearest um, like whole number, okay? Um, so I think that's around 10,000 pounds perhaps you would need if you're applying in London in a bank account. You don't need to pay that money, it just needs to be in your bank account and you need to have proof that you are, have access to those funds. And finally, you need to show proof of your purpose for visits. Now, if you're a digital nomad, you perhaps would need to show proof that you have a job. Perhaps you would need to uh, get copies of your contract of work. Uh, perhaps you would need to show pay slips of you being paid by this employer. If you're a freelancer, you would need to show your portfolio of work and perhaps show that some of your clients or some of example work that you would have done for clients in the past. Like we said, if you're applying for cultural Thai uh, practices, perhaps you would need to prove or have a um, letter from your Muay Thai camp that shows that you have paid and are, ha are enrolled on a course, or perhaps you could do that for a language school also. And if you're applying as a dependent, you would probably need proof that you're married or related to the person who's applying for the destination Thailand visa. So perhaps now you get what all the fuss has been about. This is a really exciting visa option, uh, and this really could help digital nomads or those wanting to study something like Muay Thai really make Thailand their base home for quite a long period of time. Five years is a very good, a very welcome amount length of time, I would say, for a visa. But yeah, this is a really cool visa option. I'm sure lots of you are currently looking into. So definitely wanna check everything I've said. Definitely go to your local um, embassy, your local Thai embassy and confirm all those points. There may be things I've missed, there may be things I've misinterpreted. So definitely double check everything I've said. But yeah, I just wanted to share that visa option with you. This is definitely a visa I'm going to be looking into further in the future, so very exciting indeed. All right guys, so that is everything. Thanks for watching, see you next time, cheers.